Hello everybody, this is Super Robot and today we have in front of you, you see it, the Transformers Dramatic Capture Series Decepticon Bridge Set, Megatron, Sh Shockwave, and Soundwave. Now, let's just go through the formalities. There's a chair in there. What the hell are we comparing it to? Another chair? I'm not even going to bother to get uh, SS86 uh, Starscream's box. They're just not going to do much. That. I really um, do. We just get that out the back. Despite all of the flaws the mold has, this I don't know if it's degradation, but it's something. Um, this thing is beautiful. And you'll see that in the video. because There's no need to transform. Uh, the sound wave is decent, but that shock wave is the prize star of the show. So before we continue, let's look at this humongous box. Yes, it comes in box and box and box and box. And you can see it there. It is the Transformers Dramatic Capture Series. And then there's something else in the box. Pause for the calls. Man, we're back. And the box is beautiful. The box is beautiful. I am impressed with this box. It is one of my favorite boxes now because it's just... Uh, one thing I love about the Takara Generation boxes, they have these like black and white boxes. And one day I will probably redo of do a review of four of the Sia cons and probably substitute some of my combiner wars so I can make the uh you know King's Poseidon mode as best as I can. I have those I've had those figures for a many years now and have not there are some still in yeah the twisty tops are still on. Yeah I got toys that I don't even open man it's crazy like that right but the box artwork is pretty good um uh, Megatron is sitting in the chair um, let's move the box out the way for a second. All right, we're back by YouTube Magic. And so we're going to start with Megatron. Um, not because he's the least favorite of mine. This Megatron is so freaking awesome. But it's just that I'm not going to transform. Yeah, I don't care if you're mad. Yeah, I'm just not going to transform. I don't want to transform this thing. It gets, it, I, I just don't want to. Man. So let's just get that out the way. Um, but primarily, we're going to start with Megatron and do the comparisons between uh the siege version because like i said i don't even have all the parts for the siege version so i have to kind of i don't i don't know where they are i looked and i was like well it don't make no sense for me to really do the transformation because i can't find the sword nor the um the uh i can't find the sword for him the sword is in that that other piece that you know extra piece i think i know where they are but they're like 80 bins i'm not going to not really 80 bits. I'm just not going to. So we're going to look over at the Megatron first and foremost. And we're actually going to do a grandiose comparison because I got a few Megatrons on deck. But the silver on this thing is uh, fantastic. I'm going to do maybe 4.0 here because I, I, you guys got to see this. This is this is Megatron, man. Like this is what Megatron. This is what Earthrise should have looked like. Yes, the legs are a little bit loose, but I added a piece of foil in here. So that way I didn't want to, I just, I don't want to mess with this paint job. When you see this paint job, you'll understand why. You know, I mean, look at the head sculpt for a second. Just look at the head sculpt. Look at that. Doesn't that look like G1 Megatron? Doesn't this entirety look like G1 it's Megatron crazy. now? That, that, it, so when I first got this Megatron, you know, I hated the legs. Someone's like, well, you know, it, it, it just, I hated this pattern. This splotchy, like, siege crap pattern. I mean, I do like the D16 because that denotes his uh, release in uh, Japanese G1 Transformers with Takara. But he had this, like, laser printing on the, like, ter uh, the treads. It's like, and it does not come off, you know. Um... When I first got him, I was a little miffed by the color, so I actually painted this red uh, on the side. When I first got him, I just watched an episode and just say, okay, I'm going to look at the episode. I did paint him red. I think I did a pretty good job. I also painted it the same colors as the uh, that one. I painted this blue and I painted that red because it's not red and everything. And I just added a little bit of design there. Um... I mean, it was my Megatron on the show, like night and day, and you can see where the plastics are. And I did paint that black over the red, though I do want to paint the silver, but I don't want to do any painting on this. And as I tried to paint Soundwave's eyelids and almost destroyed some things, we'll show that. <laughs> yeah, you know, this is, yeah, but I kind of cleaned that up because I had it set for about a week and a half. 
Um, but you can see here where the even the shoulder tops are turning gray where his are not. Um, the head uh, piece where it sits on is now, I mean, not gray, but brown, but the gray is not brown. Oh, see, that's what yeah, I'm telling you, man, on bikes. I start, the only thing that sucks about this Megatron is the damn tolerances, man. The tolerances, I don't know what happened at the factory for Takara, but they dropped the ball on Megatron. Megatron does not need to be falling back like that. Like, you, you got this, ugh, just... You don't really understand, like, just pisses me off because this is it's going on the show. I'm mean, I gotta make it work. But we got another Megatron. Just, I gotta I'm gonna fix him because I know how to fix him. If I didn't strip the screw on the waist piece, I'm gonna do a little finagling, probably add a little bit more um just a tiny bit of tack to it. Um, but you can see here we have the three Megatrons, and you know. Like I said, this paint will chip. It, it just but will it, buy it, this it, set. Um, you know, Siege is good, but it doesn't have that look that he has. Like it just, a lot of people, I hate this mold. one. This this to me is the last swan song of this mold. Um, I will do my best to fix this crotch because that's the only place it's now loose. I've can't really fix this, but I fixed the arms. I fixed the shins. Boy, I need to take this thing wouldn't even stand. Um, so I'm almost done. Like I say, I'll probably spend some time when I get back from my trip to fix that. So we're going with the Megatrons. Um, like I said, if I have my choice, second would be him, first him, and then third him. And now I can officially remove these Megatrons from service so I can keep him on the shelf. We're done with Megatron. We're going to put these to the side. Cause I'm, well, Megatron is actually going to go to someone else. And now we're going to pause and go to the next favorite figure. And that's Soundwave. Be back and do it too. All right, we're back by YouTube Magic. And now we have the second figure that I'm going to review of the Traumatic Capture Bridge set. And that's none other than the Soundwave. Now, we all know that this is the Netflix version repainted into a... Uh, um, right now, I think it's the um, Shattered Glass, and now we're getting another one, which is a Hasbro version, which is, eh, you ain't got as much paint. And the differences now, are stark, like I said before, this, you may not see it, but it's a darker blue here, and dark than, than this blue. But it also could be because of the so-called uh, yellowing of the plastic, you know, hindering, you know, the blues, but... The blue here is like a deeper blue, a darker blue. This is a lighter blue. Um, you know, I still wish they didn't have the damn tramp stamp there. You know, that's uh, surprisingly this one doesn't have. And when we do, do the comparisons on the side here, you'll notice that they're almost alike. It's not really much different. These are just a little brighter. Maybe these are silver where the, I don't, you know, I don't know. I don't see it. Now the blue on the back of here is tainted as well. It's changing to weird two tones. Like I said before, it is a darker blue and the shins of silver. Now I have the SL15 upgrade. I bought two 15 upgrade sets, one for the uh, 35th anniversary Walmart Sound Blaster. And I bought one for at the time was my Siege Soundwave, which I turned around and put them onto the Netflix sound wave, which I turned around and put onto the dramatic bridge sound wave. And yes, they do make a difference, a big difference. Now, of course, the, the doors open on the front here. And we're going to see it again. The gold is matching um, on here. The gold is starting to fade and it has yellow. Now I'm going to say this. I do like that. It has, you know, that one tone paint. But the reason why I like the yellow is because he makes the energon cubes. And with the yellow, it makes it look like he's lighting up to make those Energon cubes. So I never was upset with him being yellow. That didn't even bother me. Um, the silver here is lighter. Um, very smooth feeling, too. This feels different than this one. This feels not so much coarse, but it's just not as smooth. Maybe it's the paint. I don't know. Um, but yeah, um, it's pretty good. Like I said, this is yellowing. So here's an issue. I was painting the head, eyes, and the paint. I don't know, every time I paint, the markers get worse. <sighs> if I transform this and the head falls apart, we're not even going to see this review. 
Now, the last thing we're going to do is compare the laser beaks. And you can see here, this is the bridge version. This is the not bridge version. And you can see uh, this has the on the side, but it also has the... This is how you know that you have the US version of laser beak for the Earthrise version is that number on the side. But the red is a little darker than the red on here. And you could kind of see it. And there it goes. So the next thing we're going to do, we're going to put them back to their this in there. And then, of course, we're going to come back in two and two and get these bad boys transformed so we can do the comparison of the robot modes. And then after that, of course, we're going to go to shockwave and then we'll wrap up. And then, of course, my camera is saying, ha ha, I'm hot. I don't know why I just don't want to go in like the other one. You know what I'm saying? It's really weird. It's like you can't put one in, uh, you know, the other way or it has to go this way. Um. I don't know why, but you know, it does look good. It doesn't look like it's faded because it's newer. Um, and yeah, we're going to pause for the cause and get to robot mode. And of course, we'll always be back in two and two. Oh, I saw a lot of videos where no one can get this to fold up right. The reason why you can't get this to fold up right, I will show you. Do you see how the legs are positioned? They must be like this in order for you to get this to fold up. If you try to turn any other way, it won't do that. And as always, I just wanted to show that off because that was something that I noticed with a lot of reviewers say, I can't get it to get it together. I got mine done just fine. This is the way you do it. Of course, we'll be back in two and two. All right, we're back by YouTube. Average. We have Soundwave in his robot mode. Now, when you see the head, I had painted it silver because I was trying to paint the eyes and so much red paint came out that dang old marker. I was so scared that I destroyed it because paint can corrode the plastic. I almost damn near was about to, yeah, cry. But luckily, everything's still standing. Um, I just had to use silver paint because I don't have a gray enough paint. So the head's paint is different. The overall outline of this figure is a darker blue. Um, let's see what we can do. 3.5. And you can see it. what I mean. Um, it looks a lot better. Though I don't like the garish silver that I used. Um, but I don't have a gray that will match the silver here. So it's just going to have to shine and glisten. Um, on the inside of forearms, they have red lining paint. And this is silver. Uh, of course, I have the SL15 upgrades for my sound wave. Which make it, I don't know, it makes it look even better. And I mean, and you can see the differences right there. Let's take him off so we can just see. Now, you may see that he has red stripes on his weapons. Because basically, I took the weapons from Siege. Um, the other thing that you can do if you're a little upset about the yellowing, I would suggest getting the uh, Legacy Soundwave. You can really replace the arms a little bit. And actually you can, well, no, you can't replace the legs. The legs are probably, well, the arms are pretty much the same. So, you know, but if you wanted the red striping, just take, if I had like an extra seed sound, we had like four, two sound waves. And I just took the, you know, from there. And like I said before, in the robot mode, there really isn't much difference between these two, except the darker shade of red. Um, and even the Decepticon Tample is the same. The only difference is, is that it doesn't have the tramp stamp that the, and this is the tramp stamp I'm talking about. This is how you know it's, uh, let me move my hands out the way. See if I can get it to focus on that. It may not, but you can know that this one is the Netflix version. And this is the uh, bridge version. Um, I got to say it right off the back. This one just looks like Soundwave, man. Not to say that this didn't. Like, if yours did not gray, you don't need this. If your Soundwave did not gray, I mean, um, turn yellow, you don't need this. I bought this again, so you wouldn't have to <laughs> if you don't want to. Um, you really, I mean, like I say, it may not show up on camera, but I got to tell you, it's a darker blue than this. Um... You know, um, the details are nice. This looks like a new toy, and this looks like I had it for a while. And you know what? I'm going to say this. I still like this one. All with the gray and all. I mean, yellow and all. I still like it. But this one just looks better, and this one's going on the shelf. So that's it for the sound waves. Pretty much, you know, oh, God, he's got the little, you know, they painted the inside a missile. But here's the thing. He only got one stripe. That's the other thing I don't understand when you gave both stripes to I don't know. Like I said, I really got to go back and look at the cartoon a little bit more. But I will say that, um, and especially with the Autobot 5 pack, 
as well as this set. They it, they are very close to the cartoon. So, you know, they took like the best of the cartoon. And But if you can get the SL15 upgrades for Soundwave, whew, this thing will look proper. So that's it for the sound waves. We don't need to do articulation. If you want to see that, we'll go back to the video that I did for this sound wave. Um, we're going to continue and move on and we're going to go to shockwave and that'll be the last we'll be doing too. All right, we're back by YouTube Magic and we now have the Nemesis Bridge set shockwave, which is now a more of a brighter purple with the barrel of the tip being gray, just like the G1 toy. But since you in the G1 toy would slide this off, you know, you would be left with just a purple figure with the white feet, well, silver feet, actually. But since this is part of the transformation, it does stick out like a sore thumb. So we'll get that out the way. So now he's primarily purple. Nice purple space gun. Um, he only comes with this. He doesn't come with all the extra parts. And I don't have the sound wave to show it all because it's just going to look stupid. And he asked me. Well, there he is. But I and see chalk wave. You know, the one thing I'll say is the barrel is one color um which kind of makes sense but he's just this like kind of a darker blue um you can see here um he had silver on it which is actually coming off now which i'm kind of glad that is too uh he does have a little bit of the browning yellowing issue but it's not as prevalent as the other ones um this part right here is just one piece um but he's so dark and I don't mean that in the, you know, but he's just dark and then the hose is black. So you can see it there. These are the differences. And then, of course, you know, we'll have to go to robot mode. This is very simple. And like I say, I don't have the uh, whatever the leader parts are. That box, I just threw it in the trash. When I say threw it in the trash, I just threw it in storage because I only cared about the core shockwave. So and this is the first time I ever reviewed a shockwave. So, you know, just to leave that in mind. Um, but you can see here they still have the silver. But this one is lighter and things like that. So, I mean, you have choices with the sound waves. Um, I don't have the uh, gray one, the, um, you know, ray, uh, shack wave, but these are two I have. And let me just raise this up a little bit. I've been sitting here the whole time. There we go. Um, but yeah, uh, if I had my pick in the gun mode, and I don't know about a new spaceship, yeah, that one better. <laughs> Even with the lighter barrel, that one better. All right, now we're going to go ahead and get him into robot mode and we'll be back in two and two and then we'll go ahead and have our final thoughts. All right, we're back by YouTube Magic and we have Shockwave in his robot mode. Um, I never reviewed Shockwave, so I guess I'll do the honors of doing the articulation. Arm goes in the 360. If you take this off, yes, you can get a 360, but if you want that G1 look, you can put it back on. Uh, the leg goes out to here. And the thing is, it has ratchets. But I still think the ratchets on the old one is better. But they do go back. This is interesting how the this figure had ratchets, but probably because it was the leader class price point. There it came out. Same thing here. Feet swivel. Feet swivel. Head. Kind of look up and down. On the, I think it's on the ball joint. Arm go up to here due to the transformation, the articulation. Um, Kenny John Claudie Van Demi. But he is. <laughs> Joints are a little looser, but not that bad. Honestly, this is the star of the show. It's the reason why I really bought the set more than anything. Of course, we're going to compare it with the um, original the one. It was just darker. And now you can see from the sides why this is white. And I hate that this, you know, I hate it, but I love it because the color is right. And mine had a little bit of yellowing and like, because this was painted silver. It's like the paint starting to come off. And it's starting to yellow around the thighs. Not as much as the other two, but it is... And I think, you know, that's why Hasbro made the set. Also, the Decepticon tampos are different because they were tampoed on the original at this portion where it's like paint. Let me see if I can get that paint. It is like a line there. And what they did was they moved it up so the tampos are a lot clearer, which I think that's pretty cool as well. And the same thing here on the other side. Um... I still like the Shockwave 2, and it's going to my son after this review. But if I had my pick on which one, you know what I want. And that's the purple one. So take a gander, peek, whatever you want to call it. Let's get him in the frame since we're using the rule of thirds. Yeah, there's nothing else to be said. Final thoughts. 
All right, so we're gonna make our final thoughts here. And I'm not gonna stay long in this video because I really need to wrap up and get out of here. All right, so here's the deal. You're buying the set for one of two, one or all. Um, as far as the sound wave with the dark eyes, uh, you know, I don't really like that, but he still overall looks good. And if you have the SL15 upgrade, the sound wave is going to look the best. Um, the Megatron, despite his flaws in articulate, uh, intolerance still looks so damn good. It's scary how good this mother thing looks, man. That's why oh, I don't want to transform him because like I said, the paint on here will scrape. And finally the shockwave, which is the correct purple color. Although in this backdrop, they do have some different details. I wish they carried it over to this maybe. Maybe a little bit of remolding on the chest to give him that like radiator look, but I guess we got what we got. But the sound wave does look good. Um, I, I think that the uh, so, uh, 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 shock wave does look good. Forgive me, y'all, because I know somebody's going to do it. Um, fantastic set. That's fantastic set. But the caveat is tolerances and the fact that you may not need it. So for the sound wave, we are getting him again. He has some details, but I still think this one looks better because this is a much more darker blue. Um, we know we're getting leader class SS86 Megatron, question mark, question mark, question mark all day. No news of any other shockwave except for the comic book version. And you know, that one does look good, but I still think this looks better because I want the cartoon look. Not to say the comic book doesn't look good, I'm saying I just want the cartoon look. I think the comic book one looks great. So if you're buying this set, it's A, because you you really don't like the fact you don't have a sound wave and you are upset with the, you know, yellowing. Um, you know, it, it's multiple reasons to buy this set. I can't say, oh, just go out and buy it. If you, if you don't have all three of these for 109, yeah, this is a steal. Just know that you're going to have to tighten some screws. And those screws will not tighten, but if you take the screws from the, uh, like if you have like a spare um, uh, uh, Earthrise Megatron, for some reason, this, those screws actually tighten. I don't know what it is on that, but like I said before, I, I got them as tight as I can. But other than that, the set, if you have them, the entire set is going to look good. It's going to look great on your shelf because the colors match. And I think with the Autobot 5 pack, um, Optimus Prime dropping, no, it, we're not going to get another. Well, as of this recording, because they were supposed to read the sound wave, they never did that. So keep in mind, we still have this one. So this is going to be the mold we're going to have. It's still smaller than Blaster. Don't get that. Um, but hey, you know, you scale junkies, it's all on you. Personally, I like the set. I think the set was great. I didn't really hate on it. I just didn't see the need for it. But once I got it in my hand, I just went, man. This thing looks good. So that's it. That's all. I'm out. I'll see y'all boy on Monday. Uh, no, nah, probably Tuesday. I think we'll do the SS86 Springer review. This is Super Robot and bringing more news reviews to them. We'll see you soon. Bye bye.